Good morning on what is a cool, grey and cloudy day. It is Tuesday, the 11th of June. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue unboxing. And let's, uh, let's see what I have got here is stuck at a gaming convention. Uh, this is a silly thematic role-playing game by C.M. Lowry. It's published by Beyond Cataclysm Games. Um, and it is a little storytelling game of are you going to a role-playing convention? And it's poking fun at the, um, the whole feel and, uh, uh, and I can't it, the, the, the feel of going to a gaming convention, what you're going to find there, um, how you're gonna f uh, how you're gonna feel about it, and um, in some cases, just sort of like um, you know, just being all conventioned out, you know, just having the whole um, overwhelming sense of of it all, um, just 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 tiring you out. It does happen, um, especially if you go to uh, like the big conventions. You get, you, you know, um, it, uh, so really, what you're thinking of here is, for example, if you're in the United Kingdom, then of course you're going to think of UK Games Expo. If you're in, uh, you know, basically in Europe, you're going to think of Essen, or uh, in the United States, you're going to think of um, uh, to Gen Con. Uh, you know, we did. Uh, it is um, Gen Con 2022 was the last one I went to, and it was the first one I went to with friends, and I've been before. And what I said, you know, was be prepared for the culture shock because um, it's downtown Indianapolis. It's about a half mile sort of square area where, you know, not just the convention center is, for, is, is occupied by the event, but all the hotels around it are. And so you literally turn up and um, you see people walk in the streets um, you see basically you see the inhabitants of um, Indianapolis but what you really see are gamers everywhere thronging the streets um, as I learned over to two, um, uh, sort of like I went over to someone and I said uh, um, basically the son of the, the friend and then I said I see gamers everywhere because you could and it is overwhelming because you don't often see, you know, as a role player, as a gamer, you generally sort of like game with a small group, you know, five, six people on a regular basis. Or you might go to local groups where there might be 30 people. Here at those events, you're going to see thousands uh, and thousands. And it's all overwhelming. And you, there will be a massive trade hall where all you will see is just gamers perusing things to buy the things you, you know um the trade hall essentially is uh is the equivalent of sort of like of a week long or a weekend long supermarket for gaming that you don't have access to at any other time of the year so um this is a game in which you as your not like you be yourself but can be a character attend a gaming convention um, and you'll have experiences there, uh, you know, uh, and the aim you sort of essentially is to have fun, not suffer too much for, uh, fatigue or famine, where you just work yourself so hard because you're having so much fun, you drain all your energy and and um, make yourself um, hungry. I've done it. I've, I've I've not done it with food because I've done it with water, with 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 water, um, where it's been so hot. Um, I have, you know, I, I just needed, just, I got dehydrated, um, not badly, but enough where I literally had to walk, walk, uh, walk away from a game and come back with a couple of um, uh, to, um, bottles of water, which I just drained. But anyway, so, um, enough about that. That's what we've got here. Um, and you are um, going to be basically um, encountering different locations and different types of uh, people so you know um, it can fact you have literally you have a fandom encounter a little list there uh, on the list there if you've got cosplay monster uh, leafleteer monster crowd monster storeholder monster food court and nap station um, and uh, 
example of play, you've got uh, also uh, example of play, you've got so, so, so how to play there, sorry, then you've got the example of play. Um, so it's very lim uh, simply uh, laid out. It's a little bit cluttered, I think, but you know, it's meant to be sort of like um, so sense of urgency and vib um, um, vibrancy, and each of the following pages highlights a particular encounter. So you've got a cosplay monster, um, fantasy or space ninja, a generic superhero, wizard with a sparkler, an actual police officer, and all of the above all at once. Leafleteer monsters, there's actually have another leaflet advertising something. I think, okay, you know, all right. Um, crowd monsters. Um, yeah, if you have a fear of crowd, an issue with crowds. Oh, role playing games, a, conventions are going to be an issue, I think, for some people. Um, um, Storeholder monsters, you know, uh, pushing things at you, um, you know, at, um, trying to buy things and so on. Um, the food court, at, um, you know, um, at, uh, you know, at, uh, Time to reduce that crippling famine and still and fill your boots. Of course, time spent stuffing soggy sandwiches and disappointing falafel to your face. It's time you could have spent playing games. Um, and then we've got the counter at the nap station uh, where you can just sit and, and, and nod off. Um, thankfully, never um, at, um, uh, never actually come across. I'm not actually had fallen asleep at the convention, um, uh, to, to my knowledge. And then we've got the gaming phase. You think like settlers to um, uh, settlers of, of Taken or Tekan, um, not settlers of Catan at all. Uh, Storm the Castle. So this is as much sort of like influenced generally by board gaming as much as it is for on other things. Um, you, you know, Frogats the Zopping Dealer, a wrestling contest, uh, Escape the Dungeon. Uh, so your live experience and so on. Um, but, uh, then we have. Um, you know, to the longest road is kind of parodying also Catan at the same time and um, dream it you had dream it now you have you have to draw it which is sort of like um, similar to things like you know, um, Dixit that sort of thing and then um, at um, the uh, win and loss contest uh, conditions you know congratulations win congratulations you did it you succeeded in, in, in having fun at the gaming con lose exhausted worn out and starved um and uh, a little bit of a, a, a um, bibliography and blurb at the back for the designer so um this is say parodying your visit to a gaming convention um and there are lots of different gaming conventions available um you know board games uh, war games, uh, role playing games, mixes of the three, um, also um, LARPing as well. Don't, generally, you don't get a lot of LARPing at, um, at these big events. Um, and so, yeah, and I mean, also they vary wildly in size. You know, you might get sort of like a 30 to 50 people convention, and they're just playing games rather than uh, doing anything else. Um, you know, all the way up to a couple of hundred people doing that. Um, but then you start getting the larger ones and they actually kind of, you know, you, 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 it's the big commercial ones um, are really huge events. And uh, they are, to, um, uh, they have to be seen to be believed. They, you know, if you've never been to one, um, expect culture shock. As I said before, even the expo, I can appreciate that some people never having been just going, oh my God. Uh, you know, adjust what is available and what there is to see and who there is there. Um, and it's a chance to play games. It's a chance to sort of like uh, peruse what's available that you've never seen before. Hopefully find something interesting. And it's also a chance to catch up with friends. There is always that. That is always great. That's one of the best aspects of these events. Um, but yeah, so that is Stuck at a Gaming Convention, uh, a silly thematic role-playing game by C.M. Larry and available from Beyond Cataclysm Books. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you take the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be allowed to hear more unboxings in the nook, where you will see me out here with a box. Uh, containing a book or game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit the subscribe button down below.
Thanks again for watching. Be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.